YouTube. How are we doing? Damn it, it's not working. I got this cup, it's called the Sharder. It's supposed to sound like I'm pooping my pants. Come on, we could get it wetter than that, come on. I'm having a good night, let me tell you why. My merch came in for me. This is my merch, no name, look. See, it's not just some YouTuber merch. It's real good quality. It's thick, it's heavy. It says no name on it. I think you'd look sexy in it. Then we got this one, it says kiss my ass because you know I'm on my punk shit. And what's better than a shirt that says kiss my ass? Lastly, this is a sneak peek, okay? Do not tell anyone, but I am coming out with these dice necklaces. And the sample just looks amazing. So it's a dice necklace with a star on each side. Let's check it out. And yes, it's stainless steel. It's not gonna turn your neck green. It's also the perfect link, okay? You don't wanna look like a gangsta with it hanging down to your belly button. Look at that, isn't that cute? Do you see the star on each side? I custom made it. So be on the lookout for these. They're gonna be available soon. Sorry for stalling. Let's get into this fucking Wetzel pretzel menu. Now I've never had Wetzel pretzel and I thought, hey, why don't we just try the entire menu? I have never had Wetzel pretzel in my life, but I do know that I gave Tara diarrhea one time. But I have had Auntie Anne's, which is basically like its cousin. They're both at the mall. I don't know if they're at the mall at the same time if they're fighting each other. But I used to work at PacSun. I don't know if many people know that about me. I actually worked at an ice cream store called Brahms. Midwesterns will know what it is. PacSun and Jimmy John's. I worked at Brahms when I was 14 and I learned how to make the perfect ice cream cone. Then I worked at PacSun. And you know what? PacSun was rather interesting. One to- uh, I can't even say- I can't even say, dude. I can't even give away the tea. It helped me become an independent person because a lot of the coworkers there took me to parties and stuff, which I've never been to in Kansas. I've never been to one party from my high school in my life. So I really learned how to just like go out and make friends and I'll always be thankful for Sun for that. Okay, fine. I'll tell you guys the tea. I don't know if this, this I don't think this is a Sun rule, but my manager said we do not hire ugly people. Sometimes people would come in with their resume and my manager would be like, thank you so much. And then my manager would turn around to me and say, they're ugly, we are not hiring them. So while I was working at PacSun, right next door was Annie Ann's. And honestly, there was a really hot girl that worked at Annie Ann's. And I came by sometimes and I got the pepperoni pretzels and goddamn, they were good. They were delicious, so was she. But at the end of the night, she said that I could have everything in the glass case. Because, let me tell you this, everything in the glass case gets thrown away at the end of the night. They are not allowed to give anything to anyone. They have to discard it. They can't take it home from themselves. They can't give it to homeless people, but you know, she hooked it up for me. So she would give me the entire glass case of Wetzel Bretzel. I would, it would be the only thing I ate for like a week straight. But yeah, you know, I think that's what they do at even Wetzel Pretzel. So, you know, they need to figure that out. Give it to homeless people for God's sakes. But yeah, then, you know, Pakistan closed down where I was at and I started working at Jimmy John's and oh my fucking God. People were like, oh, huh, how was that? I mean, dude, make a sandwich every day and try to speed run and beat your record. Do you know how fucking fun it is to just like literally just make a sandwich and make a sandwich and make a sandwich and make a sandwich and make a sandwich? Like you don't fucking get it, dude. That shit was lit. Also, I was a delivery boy. I delivered sandwiches and vaped in my car. Hotbox that shit. It was awesome. I literally loved working at Jimmy John's, okay? If I wasn't doing YouTube, I would still be working at Jimmy John's. But we got Wetzel Pretzel. This is the entire menu. So let's get into it. Auntie Anne's is better. Okay, well, I didn't fucking ask. Look at that. It's so wet. I don't know how to explain it, dude. It is so wet. Do you see that? I just feel like I could tear it. Oh my God. That's how wet it is. We have three pretzels right here. Oh, good lord. This is the original. Let me uh, de-dress this little slut. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is proof that God is real. You know, like, what the fuck, dude? We, you're telling me we started out as cavemen and now we got pretzels? Now, if they didn't give me sauce, I might shove a cactus up my butthole. Where is it? Sauce? 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 Oh my. <gasps> we'll get to that later. <laughs> we will get to that later. No sauce. You're fucking kidding. But we'll still get into it, okay? We have the original soft pretzel right here. Let's go in for it. Mmm. That is a good crunch. Oh, wow, goes down a little hard, okay? We need sauce. If you were ordering from any ends, you should be obligated. Obligated. You should be obligated. 
You should be obligated to have sauce. This is just a fucking crime. Let's go in for one more bite. Guys, listen to this. Listen to this. So airy. So crispy. I really like this though. I, I took two bites. Usually I only take one and, and that really says something. I'm gonna have to give it a three out of five. A three out of five is fair. You know, I feel like there's some really good pretzels in the world. This will definitely do. Let's hit the next item, see what we're working with. But alas, I do have a lemonade and I will be pronounced King Arthur. It's their only drink that they have. Let's give it a go. Give it a, a swig. Oh, five out of five. Lemonade is simple, okay? It's sugar, it's lemons. Mm. God damn, there's lemonade just does things to me that it would just be too filthy to explain to you guys. Next up is the cinnamon one. Look at her, look at her. Guys, take a good hard look. Oh my. <gasps> This is why we should all live guys, okay? If you want to die right now, you look at this pretzel right now You tell me you want to die by looking at this pretzel, okay? Maybe life is worth living. Please adopt me guys How many times do I have to tell you I can't I can't adopt you. I can't even breastfeed, okay? We could try but I don't think it's gonna work. Boner petite ASMR baby That is a five out of five, baby. God damn. It's like you feel like your, your taste, you feel like your taste buds get horny. I don't think I have to explain it. Just look at it. Good God. That is actually happiness right there. Oh my God. Okay, I wish I could give everyone a bite. Let's switch it up from the pretzels. We got these hot dog bites. These little uh, micro peepees. You see, this is what an Amish person's penis actually looks like. It's called uncircumcision. It's what I was robbed of, actually. You know, I'm circumcised. I'm an American, and I don't know if you know this, but um, it's actually unusual for people to get circumcised. It's a very American thing, okay? When you go out to the rest of the world, people still got their little hoodie on their little meat rod. Oh my god, they smell good though. They smell good though. Okay, let's do this shit. Chode ASMR. Get out of here. Can I eat a mini hot dog? Okay. Without people accusing me of joining the, the chode eating contest? Because I never signed up. Your mom did. I'm gonna have to give it a two out of five because a one out of five would mean like, oh my God, like it actually tastes like smegma, you know? Let's get into what I think will be the best. The, oh my, oh my God, oh my God, dude, wow. Nah, bro, nah, bro, that's crazy. What's the shape though, dude? You have one fucking job, like make the goddamn pretzel right. Let's give it a bite. You guys ready? Here we go. Let's go right on a pepper. Mm. Oh my god, you know, it's not cheesy, but it's like the burnt cheese. It's like the crispy cheese. See that crisp right there? Look at this cheese on the back. Did you see that? That crusty cheese right there. A very good texture going on here. Let's get right here. Oh yeah, look at all that crisp. Ready? Oh my god. Okay, let's just go for one more bite. Oh my, one more bite. Guys, can you tell it's my favorite? Good heavens. I never go for three bites. <laughs> Mm. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Five out of five, instantly. Okay, if something has pepperonis on it, like, I'm gonna go feral. That was all the pretzels. Uh, uh. That was all the pretzels, but there is one dessert that we have yet to eat. I'm a little intimidated. It's the s'mores. Oh. Okay, get back in there. Just look at that. Is this even legal? Like, is it is it legal to make something look this good? <sighs> Guys, I think I might have just died and came back. Oh my god, it's s'mores. It's it's s'mores. Like, <clears throat> what else could you want? It's an American delicacy. Let's just take it from the top, okay? Shall we? Oh my god, guys, guys! It looks like chicken wings. Ready?
It definitely needs marshmallow. That was dry as fuck. That was a dry as fuck bite. I hope that, it, guys, we need to think of a name for the things that look way too good to be true. The things that just look absolutely delicious, and then they are just a total letdown. What's a name for that, guys? Because we've been running into this a lot. Hooker? You want me to call it a hooker? You want me, when I eat food that it doesn't, it wasn't as good as it, I thought it would be, you want me to call it a hooker? Type 1 diabetes. Okay, guys, we are not calling it when I eat food and I not like it. Type 1 diabetes. Let's just, let's, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna manhandle this shit. Okay, oh my god. Okay, I am really, oh my god, I am manhandling it. Okay. It's ooey, it's gooey, it has s'mores right there. This is the whole package. So if I bite this and I don't like it, we're gonna have a problem. Whoa. That was a good bite. I don't know, man. No, that's diabetes. Looks like I just credit card swiped my ass. Two out of five. They look way better than what they should have. There's potential. Okay, it's s'mores. Oh, sorry, I dropped on my leg. It looks so flavorful. Uh, it's not. It's not. It just. It tastes like bread with just a sprinkle, just a booty flake of chocolate, and and needs a consistency of marshmallow that's like more of like a sauce, not like an actual marshmallow because it just gets sticky and it doesn't like cooperate with you okay now i'm very curious to see if any ands can outdo wetzel pretzel they definitely are gonna have an advantage because i'm gonna get sauces for everything the star of the show is definitely oh, you know what i was gonna give it to the pepperoni but it has to be the cinnamon oh, good fucking lord good lord bro i was about like i was pulsing inside i was pulsing eating that all around i'm gonna have to give a wetzel pretzel a three out of five maybe i'll rate this again if we have some sauces in the future i don't know if i'm being that fair if you guys want to be in this live chat then go to twitch.tv slash jakeweber 69 our twitch is growing like insane right now um i've had a couple buddies come up to me and say dude you were like one of the fastest growing friends that i've seen on twitch and i'm like oh my god like i'm famous i need to hire a security guard and shop my new merch there's only a couple of each size left do not miss out i love you guys so much and pre-save my new song animal you can find it on all my socials okay i'm trying to get a lot of pre-saves i love you guys so much bye